Flying Fish, the automated brewery, has just been that way for about a year. It was a manual brewery prior to that, which was uh, controlled by the brewers, timing themselves, opening the valves manually, releasing, uh, putting in hops. Everything that was controlled by the brewery was by the brewers. Now we have a computer controlled system, which increases our productivity and increases the quality control the standards that we can keep for the beer. I tend to like IPAs, but Redfish is West Coast Red, so it's got more body than most IPAs will have. It's got a big caramel uh, body. Uh, it really just fills in the gap that I think IPAs can leave a lot of times. So it's just a really all around, it's a winner to me. Now that I've come to Flying Fish, I think the Exit 16, Exit 4 is about all that I drink. My favorite beer at Flying Fish is our Exit 16. Um, I guess I'm considered a hop head. And I like it, the hoppiness and the, uh, the uh, assertiveness of the hops, but I also like how the wild rice gives it a dry finish. Uh, my name's Slice. I run the quality control lab here at Flying Fish. For most of our beers, uh, they should have a nice balanced farmhouse summer ale. It should be uh, very drinkable, uh, a little bit of spice. Uh, sometimes you pick up some honey notes in it. Extra pale should be very balanced. Uh, nice cereal grain taste with a light hop finish. Uh, and then on the other aspect of beers, our 16, our exit 4, uh, going to be a little more citrusy with the 16. Uh, it's a bigger bigger beer with alcohol content, but it's still uh, very, very drinkable at uh, over 8%. And then exit 4 uh, can get real nice uh, fruits out of it, pineapple, uh, a lot of citrus, uh, but it also has a nice bite towards the back end. Our most popular beer is Hopfish. I mean, numbers are way up this year. Uh, second would probably be XPA and Farmhouse, which is our biggest selling seasonal beer.